All righty, fantastic. You are still watching Hashtag Why in the Morning right here with me, Brian Sakwa. Remember, the segment is all about entrepreneurs and the Hashtag Entrepreneurship Tuesday. And uh, we bring you a lot of great conversations and insights on young and upcoming businessmen who have managed to be in the field and uh, gather some few lessons here and there to help you back at home. The person who has a vision of starting yourself, a business for yourself, that is, you will find all the hacks and all the tips right here well away from that you can find us on our social media platforms facebook instagram and twitter is at y254 channel remember on instagram there's an underscore and minds why do i keep on saying minds anyways i'll find another term minds is at brian sakwa 101 and uh, joining me right now on set is a very powerful gentleman I always say powerful, okay? An incredibly powerful gentleman from uh, ice who, uh, who will share with us the journey and the triumphs of why did they venture into ice and literally, why literally Apple products? And uh, without much further ado, I'm gonna let him introduce himself. Good morning, thank you so much for coming through, bro. Good morning. Uh -huh. You're welcome. Who are you? Uh, my name is Jeff. I'm a representative of ice to uh -huh. with uh, ice we started okay. in 2019. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, Istro meaning it's, it's, it's Apple products. Yeah. yeah, we deal only with Apple products. Okay. Yeah. So, you're, you mentioned you're, you're a representative, not the owner. No, no, no. I'm okay. here on behalf of Istro team, the whole okay. team. Yeah. So, meaning it's a big team. It's a whole team. Okay. Yeah. Why Apple products? Apple products, uh, first of all, Apple products are... It's a, it's, a, it's a global product. Okay. Yeah. And um, in terms of markets, the uh, prices, for Apple pro <coughs> prices for Apple products are <coughs> dictated sorry. globally. So, uh, <coughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry, sorry. sorry, sorry. <coughs> Just cough. Okay. Uh, no, Apple okay. Products. Their prices are dictated globally. Okay. So um, they're not dictated by the local market. So it cuts across all types of all our target customers. Okay. Yeah. There's no inflation or. Yeah. Okay. But when you speak of Apple, it's 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 one of like the major brands as compared to like uh, Samsung. A lot of people would want to associate to themselves with Apple products, mm -hmm. and uh, you, you even from uh, from the iPads to uh, what are they called to the MacBooks. Uh, to the mobile cell phones and they uh, right now if you check out the market is quite competitive it's quite a competitive market from even the advancements from you know the first 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 apple product mm -hmm. what were the first apple products by the way from your experience because uh, you are handling the brand do you have like maybe a license did they issue with you a license to maybe sell their products yeah we started as taken okay. and then we majorly focused on the apple products now we we rebranded to iStore, okay which was um early last year, around okay. early last year. So, yeah, now we are branded as authorized resellers uh -huh. of Apple products across, let's say globally, because okay. we've cut across East Africa, countrywide, okay. yeah. And uh, if, if somebody back at home maybe who's watching and uh, they want to venture into uh, Apple products, uh, for example, like in the issue of license, because I understand it's a very stringent and competitive market, how do they go about it? It's a simple process. Just go to the website and with the, with the right documents and back up your documents with what you do. Just be genuine and you, it's, it's, it's easy. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I've seen on your profile, you've uh, mentioned about trade-ins. Yeah. Uh, what, what does that mean for a person who's watching and uh, they are interested to know, like, you, you, your business allows people to maybe do that kind of a business away from like your normal business? Yeah, trading is basically a concept where you bring the phone you, 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 you're you using to get okay. the phone you want. Okay. So you bring your phone, we check it via our softwares, then we value your phone, okay. depending on your condition. Uh -huh. Of course, with authenticity, because there's a form you have to fill, and you have to produce your uh, eligible uh, documents identity okay. documents, either passport or national identity card. So then after valuing your phone, the phone you want to purchase, the value it you, you, you balance with the value of your phone, then you okay. top up the amount okay. remaining. 
Wow, interesting. Yeah. So at, at your place, do you have like people coming in? Uh, but uh, you've mentioned it's only Apple products. Yeah. So it means if somebody wants to trade in with you, it, they must come up with a, or they must bring an Apple gadget. Yeah, it's an Apple product for an Apple product. Okay. Yeah. All right. Interesting. Now let's talk about the competition. Because mm -hmm. uh, I understand in Kenya right now, there's a lot of companies, including Techno, some of the biggest brands, Samsung, um, there's even, uh, there's, uh, is it called, Ka Common, uh, Common is a product of Techno. There's one, it's escaping me though. Uh, there's so many, including uh, Nokia, which, which was, it's still a Windows mobile phone. How is the competition in, in the market? Especially for, uh, if you compare Apple, Samsung, and the rest of the brands. Of course, this uh, new phones are coming out every day uh, with new technologies. But for Apple, the products, in terms of software and hardware, they are, they are designed to meet the present needs. It's more of like we lead, they follow. Okay. I'm just saying. Uh -huh. Then, uh, if you look at the watches, the earpods, then also the genuinity of the products. Yeah. Interesting. And uh, we can't do this without talking about COVID-19 because I remember uh, when the pandemic struck, there were so many businesses that were rendered still or they, were, they, they came to a standstill because of the pandemic. How did the pandemic affect your business? Um, just like most businesses, um, people could not operate normally because there was no physical interaction with clients at that time because of the lockdown. So we had to find a way of marketing better. So um, that's why we put much energy into social media. Okay. That's when we decided to make reels okay. and sponsor them, which actually worked because mm -hmm. we realized we have potential on social media and it's such a powerful platform for our products to sell, yeah. which we use until up to date. Okay. Yeah. Do you have like maybe some of the biggest uh, brands, uh, not even brands, some of the influencers, because you mentioned about sponsors. Mm -hmm. uh, like for somebody who's watching back at home and maybe they want to sponsor their ad online, how can they do it so that they attract maybe clients or customers, like you mentioned for you? For example, on Instagram, there's, there's usually an option. If you have a business account, there's an option of sponsoring your ad. Yeah, and there are different, different packages depending on the duration of time. Yeah. All right. Uh, you mentioned that you, your market has captured across East Africa. Yes. Uh, for example, somebody from Tanzania, they want to uh, arrive at your shop. How do you do that? Like, how do you deliver products to them? Because I believe this should be a very secure business mm -hmm. that actually delivers products to people. And uh, if, it's, if it's cutting across all the countries, like mm -hmm. you mentioned, East Africa, then I'm sure there's a way that you guys conduct your business. Yeah, uh, people are outside of the country. We communicate with them, the, um, they send their details, uh, they confirm the product first, then we package the product, then we send them through um, agencies like Wells Fargo, of okay. which they still warranty okay, in, no in case warranty. the product uh -huh. does not get to them. Okay. Yeah, or in case of damage, there is warranty on both sides from the transportation agency from our side. So that means you guys will be able to cater for that cost. Yeah. And if the person maybe, uh, the person who's doing the delivery gets an accident, how does that happen? Now that we have to come into terms with the, the tra transportation agency. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Now let's come back to Nairobi. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I, I want to basically like uh, now come down to uh, the customers mm -hmm. who go for Apple products because you realize actually anybody who has an Apple products, they'll want to show it off. It's usually like a symbol of, you know, stability in life. I don't know. I don't know. There's just something about people who have iPhones. They like holding it. They like showing it off. Why, why is that, by the way? Uh, having an Apple product, um, the way Apple products are designed, first of all, from the marketing, it's based on simplicity. Okay. Then there's the differentiation strategy. Apple products are so different from the other products and they distinguish themselves. Okay. Yeah. Now talk about like uh, maybe a feature because I, I understand you've got one for yourself. Oh, like yeah. what makes it more compatible for a user? Maybe for somebody who is back at home and they're like wondering, hey, if I want to, if I want to have an Apple product, what is the advantage of having one? Apple products come with so many features. Okay. Um, 
first of all, uh, they, seamless, they seamlessly products work together from the earpods to the Apple watches to the phones to the MacBooks. The one you've the got is an Apple watch? Yeah, it's an Apple watch. Okay. Yeah. Nice. So it's just a watch? Um, uh, it because because uh, I've seen there's there's those that even have a feature where you're able to pick a phone call. Yeah, you cannot via, you can communicate with the, the watch, with uh, the watch. Uh -huh. How yeah. does that happen? You just con connect the watch to your phone. Okay. And if you can't reach your phone, let's say you're in a meeting or you're driving, you just pick it from the watch. Okay. And you'll just communicate easily. Okay. In case you have earpods, you just click the earpods like this. Okay. I'll show you. Sure, 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 sure. You're wearing one in this case. So when it rings, it rings from the phone to the watch and it announces to the earpods. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so you just tap, communicate, then you tap to... That's like a Bluetooth call. connection. Yeah, that's a Bluetooth connection. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, some of the technological advancements from it, maybe, because uh, you guys, you deal with the product, uh, just uh, to maybe tell our view back at home, what are some of the advancements that have come with the... Especially because you said you deal with the, all the products. Like, yeah. which one mainly for you as a, a retailer? Um, I'll say MacBooks and phones. Yeah. MacBooks and mobile and phones. IPads. Yeah. And iPads. Mostly. Yeah. yeah. So what are some of the features that make it compatible for use? Do you have like even a, a friendly users for people who are disabled? Because I believe uh, there's people who are blind and they yeah. want to have an Apple product. Are there like user-friendly uh, apps or softwares that make them uh, available for Apple, for, uh -huh. or for example, for Apple, uh -huh. for the Apple Music, we have the Apple Family. Okay. Where you can create a group of not only family but friends. You can create a group and um, let's say I'm paying, I'll, I'll pay for the subscription, which I can, you can be able to access all of you all. So in terms of family, you can also share the family groups. Also photos, you can share the family. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, who are some of the buyers mostly for this, uh, for this product? Because like I mentioned before, everybody who has such, an, uh, s such a brand, they mm -hmm. always want to show it off. Do they have like specific, is it a product cut for specific people with a specific amount of money or something? No, not really. Yeah. We cut across all types of customers yeah okay we, we don't have a target like we don't say high end middle low no yeah. Yeah. we we do business with all types of clients yeah depending on their budgets that is okay yeah uh, uh, in in tradings for example uh, I want to I want to trade a different product maybe product take it time but I don't know if we still uh, if you guys still have an archive of maybe the fast fast products that came on the market mm -hmm. if maybe somebody wants to trade in a very old product because right now you, you you mentioned there's even uh, the latest uh, which is the latest uh, uh, development of the the one you've got the one you've got is on that is an this is an 11 pro okay the latest one is on 30 pro max Okay, yeah. and I had the manufacturing of 14 on. Yeah, there's a release date on September, around okay. 14th. Uh -huh. Yeah, then it will be available in the market from say, September or October. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. For any young person who is watching back at home and they want to venture into this uh, business of uh, selling your product or your kind of brand, mm -hmm. uh, is, it, is it cost friendly for them? Yes. Uh -huh. It just starts from um, the way you market yourself, the way you market your products, how you want to come into the market, your target market, because you just can't come like you want to, you want to access all types of clients. Uh -huh. yeah, you have to start from somewhere. Okay. Yeah. Now, from your experience working with, uh, you mentioned it's I too. Yeah. Uh, how's the experience working with people and how many people do you got at your organization? Uh, we have a team of like, Ten, okay. Ten people. Uh -huh. It's good because everyone has their strengths. Okay. Uh, we do. We we work as a team generally. Uh -huh. Is yeah. that maybe a selection or criterion that you guys used to have people to come on board as professionals, even for for companies? Because I understand even for even for a media company, before they hire you as a reporter, you mm -hmm. must have uh, some certain level of CV or uh, a work experience that resonates with. Uh, the company like for for your company and your your representative like how did you even get to get to work with them which is um, literally a high-end company yeah yeah 
I just saw them online. Okay. Then I personally approached them. Then I was told this is this and this is expected of you. If you're willing to start, give us the date you're willing to start then. Okay. Yeah. There's uh, no really um, a certain criteria as long as you're willing to learn. Okay. And you've done your research as well and you know about yeah. phones, all Apple products, how they work, mm -hmm. how they sell. Okay. Yeah. Now, uh, for a person who is job hunting mm -hmm. <laughs> and maybe they want to come to work with you, do you guys accept CVs? <laughs> yeah, we do because there's also an HR. Okay. Yeah. If there's a vacancy, because people come, people leave. If there's a vacancy, we advertise on our social media pages. Okay. Yeah. Uh, there's usually a certain pressure for young people, mm -hmm. I'd say young, let me not say a certain age, to have uh, that uh, brand of gadget, uh, including even the iMacs and the iPads that you mentioned, and even some of the latest brand. And before that, uh, I'd like to maybe even know, uh, how much, uh, like, which is the most expensive and which is the most affordable one for maybe a person who wants to maybe get one for themselves? Um, it really depends on how much you're willing to spend. Wow, okay. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. So which is the most expensive from, uh, you said you've got uh, an 11 Pro. Yeah. How much does that cost? This costs around 75000 Uh huh. Yeah. So it comes with the space, storage, uh, user-friendly features. I mean, it's basically just camera and... Uh, different uh, processors, storage as well, um, different types of cameras, different features as well for every series of phones because there's a 12 series, 13 series, 11 series. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, describe your relationship with your clients because I believe in every market, every business, and yours is a business as well, uh, you have that rapport that grounded rapport with your clients. There's those that come constantly, there's those that come and disappear, they come after years. For you, in that market, in that business, mm -hmm. how is your relationship with your client, if you can describe it? Um, our relationship is so nice, because uh -huh. first of all, we sell genuine products. Okay. And if um, there's any case of, of warranty from a phone, okay. we, we always communicate, we're always available. All, all of us, we're always available, such, such as um, if a client wants to reach you, they'll always find you. And if they can't find you, there, is, um, there are numbers on our receipts. Okay. Yeah, they, which are always on. So, which we've built trust with them. Okay. But how do you build even trust with a the, with the client? Because uh, there's, those, there's those people who are very harsh, mm -hmm. businesses that are very harsh to their clients. And you know, customer service, like you mentioned, you're, you're a retailer. Yeah. You must be humble to some certain level that uh, you invite everyone, you accept everyone. For your brand, are you the rudest guys? Not really. Because <laughs> your brand is like, you know, we are the biggest brand, so you can't tell us anything, yeah? No, you know, for me to sell, to sell uh, you're, a, you're a new client. Uh -huh. For me to sell to you, I have to convince you. Okay. I have to take you through the features. I have to show you you're, you're getting something that is worth your money. And if you confirm the product is genuine, you'll give us referrals. Okay. Yeah. That's how it works. All right. We build trust. You get, you create a circle. Circle creates a circle. They, they, they tell the others, other groups, other groups, come, 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 and all. All right. Yeah. Okay, uh, I'm being totally wind up. We are out of time. But what is the biggest uh, lessons, the lesson that you guys have learned from your business and managing such kind of a business? Because I believe this is one of, like, one of the most rooted out for business even in the tech world. Mm -hmm. yeah? What is one of the biggest lessons that you guys have learned that you love to pass across to anybody who's watching back at home from a personal level as mm -hmm. a brand and also from you as a company as well? Um, I'll say consistency. Okay. Consistency really works. Wake up every day, keep pushing your products, keep pushing your products, you'll find clients. Uh -huh. You won't struggle finding the clients. Okay. Yeah. Alrighty. Uh, if maybe somebody wants to access you and get to know your market, where are you located at? We're located at B Towers, uh, along May Avenue. Okay. First floor, room four, B Towers. First floor, room four. Okay. Yeah. So if somebody wants to send a CV or maybe reach you on a call, there's a number? Yeah, there's a number, there's a number at the, on the bio. 
Uh, do you mind saying it? Ama, you're good. Na uh, 0704-839296. There's also 0707-879446. There's also 0706-600843. Okay. Yeah. So, so your final shots before we close it up? <laughs> Any lesson you've learned personally? Uh, like no, I'll just quote Steve Jobs. The team. Uh -huh. um, stay hungry, stay foolish. Okay. Yeah. Uh, who's, the, who, who's the current founder of your Nini? Because I remember it started with Steve Jobs, then Steve. Is it Steve Jobs or Steve Jacobs? Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs, and then uh, it went to, to Tim Cook, right? Yeah. Is he still the CEO or founder of, of Apple? Yeah, he still, he still is. Okay. Yeah. So, so. I'm being told our time is out and uh, we have been speaking to Jeff uh, Maria. He is a representative from ISTU and he's just trying to share insights on the, inf the, the influence of the business to them themselves as an individual and even as a brand. And uh, you back at home, if you want to venture into that business, I'm sure you've gotten a few hacks here and there on how to go about that. And right about now, we are heading on a short commercial break. Really commercial, I'm just a break. When we come back, we'll be winding up. All right, I'm being told that we have finished the show, so we're not coming back with drum. So uh, continue chatting with us on our social media platforms, uh, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter is at Y254 channel. Remember on Instagram, I as I always say, is underscore, there's an underscore there. My social media platforms is at Brian Circle 101. Remember to keep the conversation going through the hashtag Y in the morning, today being Entrepreneurship Tuesday. Thank you so much for watching. Like I always say, we love you for watching. And see you next time right here on Y254 channel.